Hello everyone and welcome to this new video. This is the second part of my most popular video on YouTube how to make a Flappy Bird game in Scratch. This is a really good game you can make in Scratch and this is the second part of it. So if you didn't watch the first part, go on my YouTube channel and watch it. Uh, and please, if you like my videos, like and subscribe. So here we go. Alright, this is our code for from the last video, so we can add a backdrop here. So I'm gonna create my own here. So create a blue backdrop like this. So it looks much better now. So our jumping is a little bit hard, so what we can actually do is swap these two things here. All right, and it's a lot better now, but we want to also improve our rotation a little bit. So here, except of uh, exactly pointing in direction, we want to turn two degrees and now check if direction is greater than 120. So we cannot rotate too much. We want to point back in direction 120. So let's test this out. It's much better now, but we can rotate a little bit faster here. Maybe three. Test it out. So set something you would like and also here when we jump. We want to turn 30 degrees and if our direction is less than 70, we want to point back in direction 70. So I'm 70 all right so let's test this out it works a lot better now so we can jump better all right so now we're gonna start adding our pipes so we can also make name the sprite bird if you didn't or player Alright, so now I'm going to create a new sprite, name it pipes, actually just a pipe because we're going to create a single pipe here and then we're going to use clones to create multiply pipes. So I'll show you about that later. So now you're going to create something huge like this. I'm going to put it in the center and now drag it down. All right, I'm gonna put I'm gonna put one up here like that. Now I'm gonna just create two squares like this. And this already looks really good, so I'm gonna name this pipe. All right, now when the green flag clicked, we want to hide our main costume and we will create clones. So I'm gonna show you now forever here. We're gonna wait, pick random so. A random number here 2 to 0 2.0 to 3.2 seconds all right and then we're gonna create a clone of myself now when I start as a clone then we want to show so we basically create clones of this sprite so now we want to go to x0 and uh, 
not 0, I'm sorry, 240, that's the right side of the screen. And Y, we're also put gonna put a uh, big random there. So between negative 120 to positive 120. Alright, so now here we are gonna glide one second. Actually, not one second, we're also gonna use pick random here for its speed. So between 1.6 and 2.5. So here we're gonna put x negative 240 and y is gonna be the same. So here just put y position. And after all that, we're gonna delete this clone. So let's try this out. Wait a little bit. And here it goes. That looks really good, guys. But when we touch uh, that clone, we won't lose. So we're gonna improve that easy. Alright. I'm just gonna set this rotation here not to 30, but to something about 20. Let's try it now. That's better. Alright, now here we can just put touching edge or touching our pipe so let's test that out wait for a little bit and here it goes we touch it we lose but if we don't touch it we won't lose and another pipe comes oh uh, so we have to shrink this option a little bit so set it to negative 80 to 80 so we can see entire pipe all right so we can uh, change our rating between 1.3 and something about 2.5 so to don't wait that much long here it goes all right let's try again now this really looks similar to a real Flappy Bird game. That's better. Another pipe comes. Another one. Here they go. So when I hit them, I die. So in the third part, we're also gonna add our score and our high score counter. We're also gonna add a lobby animation. So we can see uh, we can uh, play when we click the play button so that would be really good so like and subscribe if you want that i really hope you enjoyed this video so see you in the next video